You're sending sensitive data to a server and TLS and SSL aren't just the only things you want to use. With this tutorial, I'm going to show you how to use RSA encryption to send that information. Let's go ahead and get into it. So first of all, we're going to install Express and Node RSA. Once you installed Node RSA, you're going to install NodeMon. So we already have it in the test section. So let's go ahead and install that. Now let's go ahead and run our imports in the server. So right now we're just building the server. Right here, you're going to notice that I use express.json instead of bodyparser.json. This is because in Express 4.16, body parser is deprecated. So it's express.json now. The section that you saw me add there is the help you with running two servers on the same network and being able to actually send information between them. So go ahead and add that in there so you don't end up with any cores issues. Right here, you're going to see me put an empty string. This is going to represent our database. This is where we're going to store our private key so we can use it for unencrypting. This part right here is going to be used to decrypt your strings. So any string you get from the client, it's going to use this method to decrypt it using the secret key that we stored into the variable above. Now that we've made it this far, we have one more function that we need to create, and that's to actually create our keys. So starting off, node RSA again, but this time we're going to feed in the object. Go ahead and put 1024 in it and start creating variables to save your keys in. So we need a public key saved in a variable. So keys export public key. And then keys again so you're just copying the process but this time you're just naming them so we want the private key this time and we go ahead and return that as an object log it to the console make sure it's working properly there we go we got a public key and a private key Alright, now we're going to actually start working on our routes. So we don't need that console.log anymore. And this first route is going to be what the client calls to when the browser opens up. This is going to get the client's public key and it's going to save a brand new private key into the database. So there we go, save that key into the database and send the public key to the client. And we're gonna work on the last route and this is gonna be the unencrypt route so any data that's sent from the client is going to be sent to this route. This route's going to use that private key that we saved into the database to unencrypt the information. So go ahead and grab the body. And 
and we're gonna go ahead and log the body to the console so we'll be able to see the encrypted data and then we're gonna just unencrypt it we're not doing anything with this information so we're just gonna print that to the console too then print out both the encrypted and unencrypted and we're gonna go ahead and inject our secret key so body.data and let's just go ahead and comment that out now we're gonna hop into the view project that I built um, I have this in a zip file in the description if you want to do the same project if you so all we're gonna need for this project is Axios and node RSA the rest of the project will be built for you but this is pretty much how you're going to use it with a front-end framework like Vue or React or any way just as long as it's somehow connected to NPM. So you could use the same modules. So here we go, we're going to connect our first route, we're going to do the create it route. So on the create it route, this happens every time the application is created. And we're just going to go ahead and fetch the key that we need in order to encrypt our data so yeah let's go ahead and log that to the console so you can see it you should show your errors just in case something happens and there we go we got our public key Now we're gonna actually build our function to encrypt the data. So go ahead and bring node RSA back in. And we're gonna basically do the same thing we did on the server. Except now we're just encrypting the data. So go ahead and place key in node RSA. And now we're gonna encrypt it using base64. And then go ahead and return that encryption. And now we get to the part where we're actually creating the send method. So this is where we use our send route. Now we already have a form object where it actually has information for this project it's credit card information so we're going to send the card number the ccv everything a credit card needs to actually make a purchase so we're going to create a string from that form object i'm going to go ahead and copy paste the for loop and everything in so that's our form object And now we gotta create our Axios route to go ahead and send that information over. Now using that mixin, you can see where it says form data. Um, you're gonna go ahead and use this dot RSA encrypt and go ahead and add your public key and the string that you're trying to encrypt in. Right there. And that's what we're gonna be sending the form data. Go ahead and log a result and catch whatever errors that may pop up. Go ahead and put your information in. It tells you what you sent, sent versus what you created that string from, but we have an error on the server. So let's go ahead and check out the server. Now we commented out the send route. So let's go ahead and uncomment that. Go back to the project, reload the page, and put our credit card information in. No error. What you sent and what it was from. Now let's go ahead and see if this stuff lines up on the server. Okay, here's our server. And we gotta see if it's a mashing hash 
so that's the hash that we received from the send route so the same hash and now when it's unencrypted this is what we get back which is the same as our front 